All right, so we have opened up our project in RS Logix 500. We're going to be doing this with a slick 505 PLC. Um, the EEM instruction will only be good for uh, slick 505s with firmware version 10 series C or higher. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here to our data files and create a new integer data file. So we'll leave it as file number 9, integer. We'll name this get menu 1 parameter 21. Um, description, you can put in description if you'd like. Elements is going to have to be 28, so we'll allocate 28 words to the data file. And we're going to say OK. We're going to create four integer data files. Two of them will be 58, two of them will be uh, just two words. We're going to change this one to 58. This one's going to be set menu one parameter 21. Come down here and say OK. So when we bring in our EEM instructions, we're going to tag our first EEM. Uh, the block control is going to come here. Control block will be for that get instruction, and then the other EEM instruction will be our set. And this will be the integer file that we use for that. We're going to set up two integer files for data storage. So the first one we'll name as set data. Go ahead and just make it two words. Say OK. New integer file again. Make this two words. We'll name this get data. So we'll say OK. So the set data, that's the data. We'll, we'll end up using this integer file for the information that we're going to pass to the drive. And then the get is where we're going to store the information we get back from the drive. So now that we come to our ladder logic, we'll add two rungs. I'm going to bring out a random instruction and change the title to an EEM. Hit enter. So now our control block, we're going to uh, set up the get for the first one. So we're going in colon and then our get file over here, uh, integer file number nine. So we'll do nine. Oops, I said N7, I'm sorry. N9 colon zero. Say OK. So now our properties box comes up for the EEM instruction. Um, since we're doing the get, we're going to change the, the words received. So right here, we're going to make this two. We're going to send over two words. Uh, where are those words? Where, where do you want to store those words? So that will be the N. 12 colon 0. Down here in the service, we're going to change this to the get attribute, generic get attribute single. It'll automatically create this hex code over here. And then the class, and over here in the decimal, we're going to change this to 100. It will always be 100 for our unit drive M. Um, the instance will be the menu, so we're working with menu 1, then parameter 21. Enter. So now we have our size and words received. Where, where, where do we want to store the information that we are receiving? And then the get attribute instance menu and then parameter. So we'll come over here to multi hot, enter in the IP address of the drive. So 192.168.201.001. All right, so now we can see here our four bytes or two words of information. So we can close our box here. And let's copy and paste that instruction into the next row. And we're going to change this to integer file number 10. So this will be our set. Say OK. Our properties window for the EM instruction comes up. First thing we want to do since we did copy and paste, we'll change this down here to set. And then automatically that information goes back. So we'll end up send data. We'll send two words. And we will send it from n11 colon 0. 
All right, so our class again will always be 100. Menu 1, and we're going to do parameter 21. Multi hop should be set up as it was since we copied and paste. You can see here our send data. All right, so now that we've set up our EEM instructions, we can come over here to the leading rung logic and we'll put in two normally closed contacts or examine if closed contacts. Um, we're going to do this as N9 colon 0 bit 15. This will be the enable bit for the uh, get instruction. And then we're going to do the enable bit for the set instruction. And we'll copy and paste this down here. And this will always scan. So it'll scan the get, scan the set, and it'll constantly jitter back and forth. So verify the project. Everything's verified. As you can see, the 58 uh, control block link auto populated itself. So now that we're done with our instructions, we're going to select download. OK. Yes. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to put it back in run mode and we're going to go online. Now we can see here where it's flipping back and forth. It's constantly reading those instructions. So we're going to open up our set data and get data. Open up. There we go. All right. So we're going to bring this down here. And we can see now that if we enter an I1, it comes back as a 1. Uh, menu 1 parameter 21 is the drive first preset reference. So it does have a decimal place. So what we're seeing in the drive, I have the drive here with me now. Um, it has a one decimal spot. So right now I'm seeing 0.1 RPM. So if we change this to 1,000, I'm now looking at 100 RPM. As we can see here, change it here, and we can read it back here. And it's fairly quick, and the drive sees it fairly quick as well. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed.